strategy, but I still want to accept that. Um, I'm glad I brought up with recently because, like her, her, the fact that now that I'm, I've processed all that, you put it post, and I want to get to this after, and I appreciate being able to say what I have to say. Um, you put the post on, but then her comment on it, really not knowing anything about it, and me not even having a clue about it, but that was, to me, a judgmental thing that she did, and, I, and I'm just in that, but a couple weeks ago she was up here, and, and me and Mom was, the way we talked, we would, something we were trying to, whatever we were discussing, and Chris was, what's up for? Chris was basically said that we bicker all the time, and in fact, she's told me now in a text that she, she's just, there's always tension here and she's very uncomfortable around it. And we're coming up on a 39th wedding anniversary and it's not true. It's a, it's a, it's just, it's a, there's been a lot of things like that along the way and she's, and she's <coughs> passed judgment. And I, and I, I told her all this, so I'm not talking about it back, I'm telling her what I just told her. She's passed judgment on me many different times and I, I bit my lip. And now let's get to the, the Facebook thing. Um, I hope I say it right. Um, to me, thinking about that part of it, not the fact that you you have definitely reason from your viewpoint how you were seeing things and how I come across, a mom come across, to be upset. I understand all that. I have no problem with that. I definitely wasn't being disrespectful of your name, changing your name, things like that. That was never, I just wasn't. I don't know how I can convince that. You said you believe me, so I appreciate that. Um, but the fact that you, you or her, uh, would go, and it, it, let, let me put it this way, if you look anywhere on Facebook, if you talk to anybody I've ever talked to in my entire life, I have never spoken an ill word about, about, about against my immediate family, not one iota of word. In fact, I've always said what's the best from, about my family to anybody I've talked to. I've never once even considered that. The fact that you would put that like that publicly, and then that she would even respond to that and, and, and things. I feel betrayed by that. <coughs> I feel betrayed really bad. Because I just, I just wouldn't do that. I hate that for you. Huh? I hate that for you. I mean, it's my Facebook. and put whatever I want on it. I, and that's I hate true. that for you. And that's true. And I think it is good that we have um, as much of a relationship as we can, all of us and stuff. I think... Um, I think probably, and I might be wrong in this, that both you blame some of your situations in life on, like, say, for example, maybe that you were homeschooled rather than public school, or that I was a hot ass rather than maybe a buddy. But you know something? I, I, I keep saying, yeah, I was, and I regret and all that. You know, I'm thinking about it and stuff, and compared to, like, my father, I, sh I actually should re get father of the year. But when I think about my father, how he raised me, He's made me who I am today, and actually I'm thankful because I'm not a pussy, I, I, I work hard, I, I want to succeed, I'm very self-reliant, very independent, all those things I actually now can attribute to him. So, did he suck kind of, and was he not my buddy? Yeah, for sure. Was he wicked hard? Yeah. You guys don't even know what it's like to be, to be, be beyond recognition, silly, to where you, you have blood on your ass. I do. Do I? And... and, and so I'm actually going to stop saying and stop believing in my own mind that I totally sucked as a father because I really did the best that I could. Did I have a temper when I was younger? Absolutely. Was I an ass? Most, most assuredly. Did I, did I fly to hit him? All of that. All of that. Yes, that's me. But then I think about it when I'm thinking about these children, I think, you know something? And, and Crystal recently said, and I, not say anything I'm saying, I just said to her first, um, recently said that she has the ability to connect with anybody. She has that ability, whether it may be somebody this, this, or that. And I almost feel like if I was to have a sex change operation and change my name to Wendy, that you and Crystal would be right there for me and accept me for that. And oh, sometimes, I'm just using that as an example, but because I was a hot ass, tad of temper, was definitely not the best father in the world or even close. I, I don't, I can't, I can't be accepted. I can't, it can't be like, yeah, you fucked up. Um, you are terrible, but I accept the fact that you're human and you're a sinner and probably one of the biggest ones, but you're still a father. You worked your ass off to provide for your family. When we were never even aware, I'm speaking for you and Chris right now, the, what you really went through, because we went through hell. 
Those times when you guys, and you never knew. I don't even want to begin how poor we were and how we struggled, how we suffered, and how I, we both would sacrifice everything for you and Crystal. At the very least, can I be accepted, you know, for that? You know, that, that makes me, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm done. Um, i got to be done regretting um, how I was a father. Not entirely sure uh, how you don't feel accepted and right now. Nothing has been said about you today. This was about me. Right. I don't know why this is suddenly about you. I will say that you can say whatever you want. I don't care. You can feel however you want about how you raised us. But you say that your father was abusive to you and that the lesson you learned was to be a hard ass. And at this point, you don't feel sorry for it. And the lesson I learned from you was that I will never treat someone the way that you treated us. So it's just two different lessons to learn. Well, that's good. And, now, and, and, and it was about you before, but now it actually is what I'm saying about me. I just don't understand why, how is this relevant? Like, uh, no one said anything about you being a father. You're the only one that's brought up your parenting. Okay, well, then I wanted to make sure, then I'm saying it for my own benefit. Okay. And I have that right. I mean, you are ready, with bags packed, ready to leave. For, I mean, you obviously can get upset and, and, and make a decision based am. on situation. I'm still completely packed and ready to leave right. at a moment's notice. Which, which really gets you to the next thing. And I, I think it is good. I don't want hot feelings. And I don't I have, have none feelings. against you. I have none. I haven't had any hard feelings. I haven't said anything negative to you about your parenting. I don't know where this is coming from. Nothing was ever said about you. I don't know why this is suddenly about you. Because I'm making it right now about me. Yeah, but I just don't understand why. Well, you were... I just don't understand how this... What I did to... You... So we had a conversation about my name. You left and talked to Crystal. And now you're coming back and explaining to me how you feel about your parenting. And none of anything that ever... The entire conversation with me, none of it ever had to do anything with this. I don't understand how... Why we're talking about this. Well, I, I believe, Josh, that even when you arrived, you, you, that even the way you were coming at me a, a few different times, it was because you were, I think you was actually, and you're not going to get it, and, and frankly, you don't want it, I think you was actually looking for a little, I think you, you maybe I misread it all, and I'll accept that if I did, but there, there was a little animosity, a little, definitely some needling, a little bit of like, you, you know, you, was, you I mean, said I was an asshole, abusive father, which I was not abusive. But that's fine that you think that. And, and, and so I'm going on that. I'm going on all when of a sudden. Did I, when did I say that? The day, the day you arrived shortly after, you guys connected, which I was pretty happy about. I'm very happy about it. She hasn't even said a word to me. Since. Something's going amiss. And so it causes my mind to work as well. Sort of like yours did when you think I wasn't respecting your name change, which was all up here in your head. And now maybe this is all in my head. All that has to say is, um, I, I, w I, do, I would like to stay, you know, on good terms. It's very important to me. But I almost think, especially, mostly what hurts me is, is that fact that rather than being in the family, I'm a very private man. Nobody knows anything about my life, and I want it that way. Now I'm afraid a little bit that I don't want to, if, if I, I don't want to open my life to somebody that can take that and use that for someone else to know about it, stuff, to be scrutinized by really, um, virtually the world. If you feel that way, then you know that ultimately you must feel bad about what you've done if you don't want someone to know about it. And, and it could be that. And it could be. It could be a good part of that. Maybe it is. And, and maybe I suck. You mean, maybe I should just shoot myself and say... You're the only off. one saying anything like it. Like I said, this... The entire well, yeah, yeah, even even that, how you're doing it right now, really see to me that's a that's a judgmental kind of thing. You basically what you just said was that's just my speaks, man. I mean, that's my opinion. Okay. I mean, that's my. Well, I I, what am I supposed to tell you? What I think is true. I think it'll be just best for all of us to stay in the hall. But I think I should hand you twenty five hundred dollars cash for the next five minutes, and every time you get fifty dollars, George just gave me a hundred, so he told us we each get fifty for a bowl. And, and probably we should cut the thing short. And you take the money, because that's what I promised you. Because one thing I am, if another thing else, I'm a man of my word. 
Take the 2500. We'll stay cool about it. And we'll get a little bit. Because I think potentially something could happen again. I might, I might say something that might be totally harmless, but next thing I know, I might be hearing it was on the interwebs. I mean, and then I don't like that. Let That's me, not comfortable let me just that. say, if you're gonna send me home, I will not take your money. And if literally the choice for you is to choose your pride over me. Um, See, no, that, that's not true. You're handing me money and telling me to leave to get out of your life. No, I'm not. You just said that. No. Oh, you yeah, just, I'm you just want, you just want me to be a safe yeah, enough distance that I can't embarrass you. So you just want me to be a far enough away distance that I can't embarrass you. How will you embarrass me by putting something about, about? There's really no reason to get upset. I'm not upset, Josh, and I think you're really cool, calm, and collective about it. And I, but be careful. Well, Don't um, be fucking with the bear. Um, I mean, I'm an adult. You're asking me, you're having a conversation with me. That's right, but then you sit there and, and look me right in the eye and yeah. say, well, I mean, that's the second time that the truth hurts, and uh, now you're saying, basically, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to kick you out or nothing. You just told me that you want to give me $2,500 and to cut the thing short. Well, first of all, it, it would benefit you as much as it would me. Your alley's home alone, going through the dentist thing and everything. I'll still get my work done. I only had you come here. I didn't. I only had. I had you come here because I wanted to see you, and and I wanted to be able to be a help. I did it because I love my son, so, just like I love my daughter. What happened to the end of the conversation earlier when I said all I wanted to do was hang out and be friends with you guys? I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, it, I, I just don't understand. Like, why couldn't everything have just been normal when you came home? I crystal that in your life. No, I, I asked Crystal. I, I wanted to make mention of Crystal, first of all. I, well, I'm the one that started that. She said I turned everything around, so like Josh is saying. But I, yeah. how can you turn something around if you, if I, if I took, you just said a minute ago that I, why is it turning around to me? But how, how well, I was just I, asking. I just wanted right, to know. I, I, I didn't know, know if there was something that I did that made you feel like I was coming after you. I, I didn't know that. Well, I think you hate, I think ultimately that you hate a lot about me. I think you hate, I don't hate Jesus Christ. I don't hate. Well, you see, you say that and stuff, and I hear that a lot today from the younger people, but yeah, you kind of do. I mean, you can't t literally tell me that I hate when I just said I didn't. You don't get to decide how I feel. Right, but you have an opinion that you just said a couple of minutes ago about me. Now, I have an opinion about you that I'm sharing, so okay. we can both, that can work both ways as well. Sure. I mean, I just thought... I'm not trying to get, you know, it sounds like I'm getting rid of you, but in a way I'm saying, look, so we know that there's not going to be any more problems. Because sometimes I do say things that can be taken wrong, or maybe I say things for real, whatever. So we, just to, just to not have the, just to not have the problem, I'm willing to do that. If that's what you want to do. Well, I mean, don't you think it would save a lot of, a lot of problems? I mean, I can't foresee the future. I don't know. I'm perfectly capable of continuing on and being friends with you guys and hanging out and everything being fun. It's your decision. It's your money. Well, I, I think maybe now that I've shared with you, maybe it's something we should all think about as an, as an option. That's up to you. It's not up to me. accept it as being a way to avoid any future problems. I mean, if you want to avoid future problems, if you feel like this is what you need to do to avoid problems, then do it. But it's well, not since, up to me. He said, since you're not, it, it, unless I know that you're able to come to me instead of putting it on the internet, which, yes, that's your page. You can do it everywhere. You go on there and, and do whatever you want. I'm not saying you can't. I'm, I'm all for freedom of everything. Me, I'm the guy. Freedom of guns, freedom of this, freedom of that. I'm 100% freedom. But that you do that rather than even come to me, and, and from my viewpoint, I have, when you got, when this whole thing happened in the kitchen before, I was in a state of shock. Yeah, you didn't know. I was I had no clue and stuff. So it, 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 my reaction now that I've had time to let this all settle in, but it, I mean, if you're not willing to come to me and you're going to put it on the internet, when obviously you put it on there, and, and at least about me, you were wrong. Would you like to? Um... Would you like to hear what I put on the internet today that I feel like I need to delete because of your privacy? I, I, 
would, I would rather not be... Uh, my mother sat that. me down and apologized. Both of my parents agreed to do their best to not dead name me. My father still refuses to call me by my chosen name, but it's a start, and I am grateful he is making an effort at all. This is not how I expected this to go, and I am proud of my mother for having the strength to apologize to me, and my father for, at the very least, offering neutrality in a situation he can't understand. I'm going to delete it now for your privacy. All right. Fair enough, because I am a very private man. So no one has to know that I'm proud of you now. And that may be, like you said, because I forgot how you worded it. Um, because of my pride, no. Because of maybe whatever reason you said, but that's that's just who I am. There's just nothing in my life that can't that I'm not proud of enough that it can be public. Or you know, there's nothing in my life that I feel like I wouldn't want anyone to know or that I, I would be ashamed cool. to know about. I think that's cool. We're different people and, for sure. And, you know, I, I buy, let me tell you how I am. I buy a Husqvarna lawn tractor a couple years ago. I get the same exact color stuff. I don't want I don't want my neighbors to know that I, I bought a new lawn tractor. Yeah. It's just the way I am. And then, see, there again, can I be accepted for the way I am? That I mean, I'm a you, very private man? You are accepted. I mean, no one named you. You weren't tagged. No one on my list is anyone that you know. If you're worried about it getting back to someone that you know, it was literally impossible. No, it's not that. It's not even, it's just the, the fact that you would. I mean, you would. yeah, I have people back in Mississippi that love me and are worried about me and want to know what's going on up here. Alright. Well, think about what I've said. It's up to you. Get it's not my decision to make. It's not well, my money. The thing it's is, if it's up to me, you, that way you need to say, there, he told me he kicked me out of his life. That's how you'll leave it. Rather than, rather than obviously, there's some kind of big smorgasbord going on around here that I just don't want. I just, I got too much to do and, and too much. Everything could be completely calm and normal right now. If I would just shut my mouth and accept the fact that you can put something in that Crystal can agree with it and say stuff mm -hmm. even though she doesn't even know what the hell happened. Why do I keep my mouth shut? Literally. So um, for both of you, in other words, if I walk on eggshells, I'm real careful. Based off of the so conversation that we had good. had earlier today, I didn't expect there would be any reason to have put anything else on Facebook. Is that a threat? No. Okay. I've literally, okay. Okay. I based know. off of the conversation we had earlier today, in which ended with all of us saying that we would like to be friends and hang out, I would never have expected that there would be anything else for me to put on Facebook. I wouldn't, I don't know what you're expecting. Well, I don't know. To me, actions speak much louder than words. they always have. Uh -huh. I bought a plane ticket. Mm -hmm. I set aside three thirty-five hundred dollars for you. None of that is better. You're helping some at work, but I was still going to get the work done, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. It wasn't not going to get no, done. I mean, uh, clearly. Everything I've done. You wouldn't have taken the contract if you couldn't I, do them. What's that? So you wouldn't have taken the contract if you couldn't do them. I, I already had the contract. I mean, I know right? that. You didn't book them with... I, we went from talking about it to me flying out in a week. I mean, I knew right. you didn't book every I'm job in a week. My action should show. Just my action. You know, I know Crystal thinks, I, I, mean, I think Crystal has been bummed that I'm not real. Like, I don't show um, emotion. emotion real well. I kind of keep yeah. stuff to myself. And I've been right there. Because I, never, I love my family, and I'm going to do everything and for them. I never said anything about anything. All it was was about was the name. Like, I don't know why you feel like I'm attacking you as a person. I don't know why. I don't really think I don't really think that, but I just I just think that you and Crystal have this view of me and and, and it might be a little bit wrong. Yeah. And then why why would I why would I why would I keep doing all this for all these years, all this sweat and all this everything? Why why do it if you know, if that's how that's how it is, I guess. It makes me feel, it, it almost makes me feel like, um, like people are thankful. It's like it's almost. And as far as, on the other thing too, as far as homeschool and all that, I just have to say, and in, 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 in however you were raised, those people have been raised a lot worse and do just fine. Mm -hmm. it's the same with me. I've done quite well. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how well I was raised. I think you well. leave the house, your parents' house, you're, you're 100 percent responsible for all the decisions mm -hmm. you make. I'm, I'm quite proud of where I am today. Right. I am. I'm,
I'm, I'm not going to be causing a problem, so it is up to you.